Hi guys, just doing a video out and about in Kidderminster Town, Sunday the 10th, uh, smashing. Let's see what's going on, probably not a lot. Get down the subway. <laughs> Used to be two way road, now it's a one way road, now it's a one way road. Look at it, everything's one way, that's why it's a one way road. Look at the cars! Hello, John. Hello, John, got a new motor. Ah. Oh, 
the bongos. He can't half play the bongos. He's got a record by Billy Joel. He's got a record by Billy Joel. Them lots are easy. Them lots are easy. Here's my calling card. Here's my calling card. That's a piece of balsa. That's a piece of balsa. You can make a model like out that. You can make a model like out that. And he stuck his head in a dustbin. He stuck his head in a dustbin. And ran through the long trip. Then ran through the long trip. Hello, John got him out. Ah. Hello, John got him out. Ah. Hey, John, do you like the suit, do you? Hey, hey, it's a lovely suit, you know. Yeah, what a brown ale. Yeah, what a brown ale. Hello, John got him out. Ah. Hello, John got him out. Ah. Mind your light and bitter. Mind your light and bitter. Hello, John got him out. Ah. He works on the Thames Barrier. He works on the Thames Barrier. I keep tropical fish. I keep tropical fish. In me underpants. In me underpants. Hello, John got him out. Ah! Hello, John got him out. Ah! He walks around with an hat on. He walks around with an hat on. Oh, yeah, he's the intelligent one. He's in the police force. Yeah. Hello, John got him out. Hello, John got him out. Ah! Peter Miami. Lovely, Miami. Baggage stall in Miami. It's just can't get a light and bitter. You can't get a light and bitter in Miami. You can get one in Bermondsey, though. That's a nice sound as well, Bermondsey. You can get a light and bitter, and it sounds nice. Light and bitter, that sounds nice. I like a light and bitter. Ah, oh, cheers, thanks a lot. Oh, nice one, yeah. All right, what you having? What you having, eh? Pina colada. Lovely, here, you must be sophisticated. <laughs> Hello, John got you more. Ah, hello, John got you more. Ah, you don't spend a bit of coffee. You don't spend a bit of coffee. Hello, John got you more. Ah, 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 yeah, that's a nice piece, sweet. Yeah, I like your music, Senna. Here, got the Demis Rootstock. Oh, I like him. Very mellow. Oh, I think he's terrific. Oh, I love him. I love Barry Mellow. When I hear very metal, I'll have a whole Oh, absolutely stinks down here. I'm down Mill Street, and we got sewer problems. And it ain't just a new thing. It's been going on for years. It absolutely bloody stinks, mate. It's like the lowest place in Kidderminster. As in, like, depths of drainage and all that. Absolute pongs. Anyhow, we're going to town. Let's go down. Let's go through the, uh, the underpass. <laughs> Let's have a look. Here we go. Underpass. Underpass. That's where we are. <laughs> We're on the underpass. Da da da. Matalan. Matalan. Ah, smashing. They'll soon be doing them up, won't they? That's the uh, the apartments. Going to be doing them up soon. It's where the uh, if you look over there to the right, is where the uh, the bunker is. The World War Two bunker is. And over there is a big chimney. Look. <laughs> Seagulls thought being by the bloody seaside, but we're not. We're more or less, more or less in the centre of England. England, yes. Now Meriden, if you want to know where the centre is, that'll be Meriden. That will. That'll be up by the uh, let's just see Meriden, near the NEC, near Birmingham Airport. If you sort of like have a look around there, all the old yeah, look, the Rosses are out there now. We'll film them. Because uh, they like to be filmed, you know what I mean? That and camera. Oh, they have a look. Oh, look, what's he doing with a camera? How dare he film? How dare he? Oh, we cannot have this. Is he a Jew? Let's look at McDonald's. Oh, look. I want a McDonald's. It's Sunday, I must have a McDonald's. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh, let's have a McDonald's. 
Oh, look at it. My God. Right, one thing I've learned, batch cooking. Right, when, you, when it comes to cooking, you want to batch it, mate. Batch your food, stuff your flipping fast food, right? Stuff your McDonald's, your KFC, right? I'm going to shove it up your ass. It's junk food. You want to batch it, yeah? Buy yourself some chicken from a local market, right? This way, this way, it'll stop all this bollocks going on, right? Look what's going on. Look what's going on. They're even sticking things in the road now because people are so desperate to get their instant food, mate. What's going on? Batch your food. Go to the markets. Markets. Buy your stuff local. From local tradespeople. Yeah? Make your meals. Freeze it. Refrigerate it. Whatever you got to do, do not feed the tyranny. Right? Oh, see if we get run over now. Yeah? See if we get run over. Desperate to get his McDonald's, mate. Desperate. Absolutely desperate. This is what it's all about. Very busy electric port. Here we go. Actually, it's a good place to have a warm on a cold day. Uh, got some heat coming out of there. It's air conditioning. I don't know. Let me out. Let me out. Yeah. There we go. They're open. There's your electric point. If you've got an electric car, if you can afford one. Right. Remember, it's the game of the rich. Here we go. This is uh Well, we, you know where we are. Look, it's a big chimney. It's bloody Kidderminster, isn't it? This is the... Um, well, you know where it is. Now, Frankie and Benny shut down last year. And, we, and uh, also, the Weatherspoon shut down is very upsetting. Because I like the Weatherspoons. It's very nice. But then again, I don't like the management of the Weatherspoons. Okay? Because he sacked all his employees. So, I'll be boycotting Weatherspoons from now on. And I did think about writing to him to take over the Frankie and Benny's establishment. But he can get stuffed. Because he is in it up to his neck right with the tyranny that's going on that's all you got to think of now cracking buildings cracking buildings I'll take you down this way because that way is all shit here we go Premier Inn Premier Inn there we go Debenhams used to be they've shut down because of the lockdown a lot of things are shut down because of the lockdown. And there we have it. It's a cracking, cracking shop. But it was open, it was fantastic. There we go. I'll show you Premier in now. This tree, that's a lovely tree now. I'm going to show you this one. It's got a nest in it. Let's see if there's any babies in the nest. Oh, babies. I like babies in the tree nest. Oh, lovely. There we go. Let's see if we can get up on you. There might be some in there. I don't know, you tell me because I can't see. I'm not that bloody tall, I'm not a giant. Yeah. There we go. There's your Premier Inn. So if you come to Kidderminster, Premier Inn, lovely old building. It's um, one of the old carpet factories converted. Very sort of like tastefully converted. Uh, smashing, there we go. Premier Inn, and it's next to all the lo local retail. You got um, well everything really. It's on the doorstep of Kidderminster Town itself. Across the retail park, um, motorbikes, <laughs> um, everything you want. Town hall's just down there. That's the centre of the town. Uh, smashing, smashing. Frankie and Benny's doesn't exist anymore. But hey, who's upset about that? I certainly ain't. Bloody crap it was. Yeah. Big brother watching, big brother watching, look. 
Who are you looking at? Yeah. Anyhow, come down here, look. That chimney's massive. And have a look up there. Go on then. Have a look. Look at look at that. Look up my chimney, you. Where ain't my chimney? There you go. And that was the side of Debenhams. Was, because it's closed. Oh, that's so expensive. That must have been so expensive to actually put into place. And now we shut it. Oh, where's all the money coming from? Hey, is it, is it just monetary notes? I don't know. Ah, oh, lovely. Here we go. Oh, another camera. Hello, always wave at the cameras. Big mega horn there. Go away. Oh, I love it. Big cameras. Seagulls. They're yeah, smashing. There we are. There's a reverse look. Oh, camera turned round as well to have a look. Oh, lovely. Isn't that lovely? I was smashing. Ah, oh, more cameras on the wall. You cannot walk past here. We are monitoring you. Ah, oh, dear. Oh dear, that's lovely, look at that curve, that curve there, coming over the bridge now, look on the canal, that's smashing isn't it, I'm not saying smashing, there's a lot of crunched up glass here, look, oh, yes, that's a lovely, if, it, if anything that's one of the best buildings about, alright, and do you know what it is, a Samsung Academy, was, now I say was, because it shut down another redundant building with a hell of a lot of money thrown at it. A hell of a lot of money thrown at it. And do you know what it is now? Empty. So for empty building. Here we got, we're down by Tesco now. Tesco. We all know Tesco, don't we? Hmm. My God, look at the size of this swan. Oh, should go and annoy him. I don't do that. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to walk up casually now. Walk up. I'm going to say hello. Is it me you're looking for? Hello. Hello, mate. It's not Sam, is it? I used to know a swan, and his name. Oh, what was his name now? It wasn't Sam. I used to take, I used to work, I used, I used to do a little job down by Orford Lock near Worcester. And when I was there, and I was there for about four or five months, must have been about four or five months. And I met this little, well I say little, it was a, it was a swan. And he used to come and meet me every morning when I used to feed him, right. Um, herrings and mackerel out of a tin. So that went on for a while, and then every morning he used to turn up to get his herrings. Now, I wonder if this is the swan that I once knew. Because, look at the size of his feet, they're massive. I'm going to try and get a bit closer. It's probably going to go big snares. <laughs> oh, he did. It's all right. It's all right. Yes, he's fine. I don't mean any harm. Obviously, the Queen owns you, and she's very distraught at the moment. I know. Duke of Edinburgh, eh? What did the Duke of Edinburgh want to do? What did he say? When he died, he wanted to come back as a deadly virus, didn't he? Hmm. Now... Hello. That's what he actually said. All you need to do is look back on one of my videos. I think it's the one with... Uh, which video is that now? He said that he wanted to come back as a deadly virus. This is the Duke of Edinburgh. And that one was to do with... Oh yeah, to do with the Convid. And it was to do with... Bottom. What's his name now? Bottom. Well, we all know which one it is. You're just trying to hide, aren't you? You ain't going to hide, mate. I'm going to hurt you. Come here. Psst, psst. Come here. It's all right. I know the Queen owns you, mate, but I ain't going to do nothing. That ain't, that ain't working, mate, sneaking your head away like that. What are you trying to do? It ain't working. 
think about it. You got lovely, you got lovely feathers, right? And what are you stick in your head, in your back? It's just stupid. Why don't you say hello to everyone? Yeah, say hello. Hello. Uh, wagging your tail. Was that happy? You happy swan? Happy, happy, happy swan. Wagging his tail. Hooray! Come here. Psst, psst. Come on. Say hello. Say hello. Greetings. Salutations. Salutations, swan. Salutations. Offering. Oh. Hello. Hello. We have a pigeon invasion. The geese are letting off an alarm. Pigeon invasion. Yes, definitely. They're all behind me. And do you know why? Because they think I've got food. No, no, no. It's a pigeon invasion. And this poor swan, let's have a look at him. I can't shame my face. I'm hiding my face in shame. Are you hiding your face in shame? This is the question I'm asking. Why are you hiding? Why, when I'm trying to have a civil conversation with you, yes, you, Mr. Swan, why are you hiding? Why are you hiding your head under your wing? I'm trying to talk to you. Do you not want to talk to me? The pigeons are quite willing to discuss stuff. And you are burying your head like an ostrich. What is going on? Is it because the queen owns you? What's going on? Let's talk to the pigeons. Pigeons, what is going on? What is going on, pigeons? Come on. Why is he hiding his head? I'm going to turn around there. Oh my God, they've all flown off. Where have they all gone? They've all flown off. Look at them all. Look at them. It's James Cartwright. In front of a moving car. And, um, is he a puppet, Tom? <laughs> yes, he is. All our pilots are puppets. <laughs> puppets, uh, well, they can fly planes now, can they? More or less. They have a little trouble pressing buttons. Not much power in their hands. But it's not the case. You seem remarkably calm about all this. Outwardly calm, yes. Inside, I'm running about screaming at the top of my voice. You don't think exactly. I don't think they'll be able to land the plane. God knows how they got it off the ground. <laughs> I don't think we'll be lucky again, though. Anyway, I hope I put your mind at rest. <laughs> Do you like anything to drink? Uh, approaching runway, Captain. Uh, right. <laughs> Carrot's not responding, Captain. Bollocks! Maybe someone on the ground can help. Control tower? Control tower! Control tower, come in, please! <laughs> Looks like we're gonna crash. 
Ah, oh, well, at least we got to fly a plane. Being served in the horse fair, mate. The horse fair outside the peacock. Mmm, have a look. And, is that the new clock? Yeah, the old one disappeared into uh, God knows where it went. That's the new replacement one. Ah, crack a jack, that isn't it? Smashing. Turned it in one way now because of the new uh, housing estate. But uh, we're going to have a look at that next. Here we go. Here we go. Still up the old there. Now these, these cottages, houses, whatever, right, were, um, let's just say, they were derelict for years. This is an horse fair. And they were took on by um, a uh, lottery funding and restored to the state they are now. Now, I don't know what the state is, but they're occupied. I don't know if they're private, rental, or what have you. But it's right, if you look now, just gonna pan around, pan around. Can I pan around? No, I can't pan around. You're gonna have to change camera angles. Here we go. You got the metal horse, look. It's a metal horse. Oh, look at the horse. That's a cracking horse, isn't it? Oh, it's smashing, that is, isn't it? That's the horse here. All right, that's and hence got a big flipping steel horse. And then all the roads changed. Yeah, so we've got one-way systems. Yeah, you can see down there now, things changed. Buildings have collapsed. And you got, uh, and you got, and you got, and you got, and you got. Ha ha, you got me now. Ha ha, funny, funny. No, perhaps not so funny. Anyway, terminating.
Thank you.